Spencer, a 1-0 victory over Banbury United in the FA Trophy this afternoon. Must be delighted to get through to the next round. Yeah, I think it, just delighted. We made seven, seven changes from Tuesday. I think, let's be fair to Banbury, they made five. I think I felt it was a, a lower quality game. In, you know, I think we edged it. But you know, besides the injury to CJ, which is disappointing, you know, we showed we've got a squad. They brought on some of their first choice players in the second half and it was a tough game. There's a reason they've been unbeaten for a year until Barrow the other day and, you know, it's uh, we've both had to prioritise our midweek games and we need to be at our best to compete with Hayes and, and hopefully we've done that but it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything if we don't do the job on Tuesday night. But yeah, great to get through. I thought we deserved it just. Um, a bit frustrated with the, uh, the red card because I think Pratty has got to keep going through. The keeper's out of position. He scores 2-0. I'd rather 2-0 and leave 11 men on the pitch but you know I thought it was a, a low quality game but you know great to get through another clean sheet um, a bit bitty no doubt a question lots of changes but uh, yeah showed showed the strength and depth of squad we've got with everything that's happened in the last sort of three four days and the own goal was the difference today coming down the left hand side what did you make of the goal yeah we, we needed to go longer today which we did in part and we obviously didn't we'd done a lot of work on what we thought Banbury were going to do and then bit probably what they were doing what I, they thought I was going to do and we all made so many changes so we got down the sides brilliant from Michael ball into the great area and, and these things happen so but look we've hit the post I think we could have had a penalty we've obviously hit the red card and they've had again Dante's made two great saves and you know a couple of whistled by both both teams it was it's a strange game it was you know it's such a shame because I think it would be great for Banbury and Farnborough to play head to head Full teams out, you know, perhaps without a Tuesday game coming along. Um, obviously, that wasn't to be. And, you know, we wish them all the best. I'm sure they'll be there or thereabouts. They've got every chance of getting promoted. They're on a fantastic run. So, you know, we'll move on. And all our attention goes to a, a massive game on Tuesday night. And you made some changes today. How do you think the players coming in did? Yeah, everyone did OK. Everyone you put a shift in against a very physical side. As I said, they changed their system. Caught us, you know, we didn't really expect them to do that. And... But, you know, it, it was a real slog. You know, we lost CJ. People were hobbling around a bit. And, you know, we, we obviously huge changes for us. Not going to apologise for it. You know, we, we have to prioritise Tuesday night. You know, as I said, my best team might not beat Hayes, might get beat by Hayes. You know, they're, they're a great side, you know. So I think they all gave a shift. It was hard work. It was a gritty cup tie. Not a huge amount of quality. We didn't really get passing like we normally do. But... The, that's no big surprise uh, with, with all the changes we had to make. But everyone stood up. There was nobody that was disappointing. You know, it was great to get UL on the pitch, to get George on the pitch in the end. Obviously, Harry Cooksley got 85 minutes. You know, Jordan came back into the side. Paget came back into the side. I mean, young, Frank, Fra- uh, young Frankie Sullivan made his debut. So, you know, so many changes. You know, to win 1-0 against the side who's only lost to a league club in the last year, fantastic. You know, 11 straight wins. Let's, let's enjoy it, very briefly in my case, and uh, get our heads down ready for Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday's game, just a small matter of Hayes and Yedding away. How are you going to prepare for that one? Well, we've been preparing for it all, this week already, um, which is rare. We normally only look at one game, but we had to look at two because of the injury situation. Look, they've been fantastic. They haven't lost in the league. They've only dropped two points. They haven't, they haven't dropped a point at home. You know, we know it's a tough ask, but you know, I've also reminded the players that it's the middle of November. There is a huge amount of football to go, and as much as it would be nice to win or whatever we might get there, it's not the be-all, end-all. What happens on, on on Tuesday night? We're nine points clear. Obviously, you know we want to go there and, and get a result, but it's only three points. Um, I think it's more psychological to the players, but I think the squad we've got also understand what I'm saying to them that it is only three points. Of course, we want to win the game. We're going to be we're going to be positive. They've got some great players. They're unbeaten. So what? You know, it should, hopefully it'll be a better game of football perhaps than today was. Um, but we shall see. You know, we're away from home. We're the underdogs there. In reality, they're top. They've got so many games in hand. But look, it's, it's the middle of November. Huge amount of football to go. They've got to play a lot of games. Um, but they're an outstanding side. But let's not get away from the fact, you know, we've won 11 straight games here. So, you know, they've lost the last two against very good opposition, mind you. Uh, we've won 11 straight games. So, we, you know, we're going to turn up and we're going to uh, have a plan and um, be positive and we'll see where it takes us and then we'll move on to the next one because I said middle of November there's uh, two thirds of the season to go and in Hayes's case I think three quarters of the season to go so nothing is won or lost in November Brilliant, thanks Spencer and good luck for Tuesday Cheers Tom